elixir there. Calm down this throat. This is, uh, we've got, uh, trying to get to get this new album together. Uh, it's going to be out probably before the next birth of our Lord and, uh, uh, if everything goes right, or Christmas Day, uh, it'd be a nice thing to send for a Christmas present. We're going to, uh, I, I tried to get a whole new marketing approach to it. I figured we, that's fun dealing with record companies, it really is. I said, well, let's just make 25 albums and sell them for $32,000 a piece. First come, first serve, you know. Everybody gets a Vegematic, first 10 albums, you know. They didn't buy that. Man. They didn't. So we're going to have to revert to things like songs and instruments and uh, make a real record, I guess. This, is, this will be our token trash song. Uh, it seems to be getting that way. I can't help but write them because they, you know, I involve myself in certain situations sometimes. This is called uh, Please Take Your Drunken 15-Year-Old Girlfriend Home. Uh, it's, uh, <coughs> I think the title speaks for itself. It's... Uh, but it's hot. I mean, we've come a long way here now. We're, uh, we're opening for, for, like, big groups and things. And so you're into teen appeal, which has never been a problem with us before because people never knew who the hell Jimmy Buffett and the Coral Reefer Band was. And they were an opening act. But now about some of them do, and I wish they didn't because uh, it's real weird because uh, when I was that age, I was in Catholic school, and they... And they stuffed everything under starch and uniforms, and now it's just out there. And there's, in the South, there's big boyfriends with all girlfriends because they aren't there alone. It's date night most places, and you get a little drunk. Oh, hello there, honey. Uh, come on down. Fingers does it all the time. Yeah, I try to stop them all. You know? I'm trying to reprieve these boys from their dirty image. You know? Apparently, it'll never do any good, you know. We get criticized for writing songs about drugs and sex and booze, but sorry, that's the ballpark I play in. <laughs> and, uh, uh, we'll leave. Uh, yeah, we, I don't, uh, we've turned down the Vegas circuit many times before. We're, we're hot in Vegas, we really are. Hot in Key West, too, right now, yeah. <laughs>